Let's talk about All For One. Okay, now All For One is a very interesting character because he is the mentor to Shigaraki, yet he is still currently alive. Okay, and the story as of right now looks like it's mostly focusing on Deku and Shigaraki. And obviously, since All Might retired and All For One is in prison, there's not really much they can do. There's also a lot of major death flags for All Might, so I'm wondering what's going to happen for All For One. Like, you know, the mirrored version of All Might. Is he going to die? Is he going to come back into the story? I'm going to discuss that in this video. First of all, I'm the one Straw Hat. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Other than that, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. So in order to understand what's going to happen to All For One, we have to understand what's going to happen to All Might. And the reason for this is because it's a mirror. And if you haven't noticed it, notice it. I don't know what else to tell you. It's pretty obvious. So... If we have to understand what happens to All Might, the current theory for All Might is that he's going to die in the near future. Now, I don't see All Might dying for one reason, because of what Night Eye said to Deku. He's never seen the future change until Deku has actually, you know, went and done it, and that was with Overhaul. He, Night Eye, saw Deku dying in the fight with Overhaul, but in the end of the outcome, Deku ended up surviving and actually beating Overhaul, and that was something Night Eye didn't see. So it kind of shows that our main character, our main protagonist, is in terms special, okay? So I think that set up the reason that maybe Deku can somehow save and change All Might's future because that's what Deku wants, right? That's just personally how I interpreted the story. Many people interpret it in different ways. Now that uh, All For One is imprisoned, he is out of Shigaraki's life, he doesn't need to be killed, okay? So I'm just thinking, what's going to happen to All For One? Is he going to die? Is he going to escape? Or is he just going to stay in prison for the next, the rest of the series? So let's take a look at the series. The series right now is primarily focusing on Shigaraki. That also means it's focusing on Deku, as you can see. I think somehow All Might is going to step out of Deku's life. Either it be through death or through some sort of other means. I also see maybe he's just old and hospitalized. That's a possibility I can see for All Might. Now, let me be honest with you. I think All For One is going to be imprisoned for a while, and if he does manage to escape, he might get Shigaraki might be able to, you know, free All For One because that might be a goal of Shigaraki's, and then he might also be, you know, in critical condition. He might not be able to do what he was able to do before in the past. If you get what I'm saying, something might happen so where that All For One can't do what he was able to do in the beginning. Okay, and that makes sense to me. He might give his quirk to Shigaraki or something along the lines like that. I had to open up the window, by the way, because it's really hot in here. So if you hear any noises in the background, the police aren't at your house, they're at my house, okay? Um, well, let me tell you all the outcomes I could see playing out with All Might and All For One. Uh, this video is mostly on All For One, but whatever happens to All For One, I see some sort of similarity happening to All Might. For example, if All For One dies, I see All Might dying as well. Okay, so if All Might does end up dying in the next, you know, in the foreseeable future, then I also do see All For One dying. If I see All Might saved and he's not dying and he's just, for example, in critical condition or he's like, he's not strong enough to move or to fight and, you know, lecture Deku, then I see the same thing happening to All For One. He's going to be maybe stay in prison or maybe Shigaraki's going to help him escape, but something's going to happen along the lines where he loses his quirk. That's just personally what I see. I want to know what your thoughts are also. So please let me know down in the comments below. If you have any other um, questions, let me know and I'll answer other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed my content. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.